when we've got a full load on the ute, we need to be able to tie it down properly and secure the load. You'll notice here that I've got a load that could easily fall off the back, so I'm going to teach you the first two knots that you need to know. First thing I'm going to do is I'm always going to start on the right hand side of the ute because that's the side that traffic goes past you on the road and if you ever have to readjust your knots you want the complex ones on the pedestrian side so you don't get hit by a car. So we'll start out by throwing our rope over the top and we'll keep a little bit on this side. Now you'll notice I've secured it sort of in the middle of our load here and I've got a nice little bit of rope hanging over the rail. All I have to do is tuck that piece of rope around the rail like that and then pull it across the rope. So I've gone around and across. Now that I've gone across the rope, all I have to do is put it around the rail again and pull it through the loop I made. I've now done a clove hitch. Now the best thing to do with that so it doesn't come undone again is leave a little bit of rope like this and do another half hitch as well. So this is what we call a clove hitch and a half and that shouldn't come apart. We'll go over the other side of the ute now and I'll show you the truckies hitch. Okay, so now I'm on the left hand side of the ute where I'm away from the traffic. Now I can do my more complex knot. All I have to do, you'll see I've got a fair bit of rope here, all I have to do is drop it down over the side of the ute. Same as last time, pull the rope around the rail and all the way through. Pull the rope across, exactly the same as last time, except now I'm going to grab this piece of rope and pull it up nice and high. Now all I'm going to do is put my hand underneath the rope that goes over the load and over the top and pull that guy through. Pull my hand underneath the rope that goes over the load, over the top and pull the, the loop through. Now I have my, now I have my truckies hitch in place. All I need to do now is pull down on this rope and it works like a pulley. I've got two sections of rope that I'm pulling on, so I'm pulling twice as far, so I'm doubling my force. And I can pull down nice and tight. If I wanted to, I could do a second one of these truckies hitches. I could tie this one up a bit further and do a second truckies hitch and get this super tight. That's tight enough for a few bales of hay. Now we're going to fill it, finish it off. So we go around the rail. across, around the rail again, and there's our clove hitch to finish it off, and we can give it another half hitch, and then we can just tie the rope up in here somewhere and keep it out of the way.